hello everyone today we're going to build up another new fantastic e-commerce website the toulouse e-commerce website so this is the font in for our toulouse e-commerce website and as you see we have our header where consisting the menu part with the categories and then the logo and in the right side we have our search bar we have card and we have all the details and also this logo for our like to go with that to create that sign in sign out i'm gonna make it sign out to just showcase how it will look like without sign in proportion we're having that search bar we are having the card we are having the login if we click on the search particularly a search tab is coming here now if i just simply write the shirt as you see it's searching the search the shirt product and then we can also view and add it if we like it too now here you see in that product section we have the best collection clothing collection we have the t-shirt so all available t-shirt you can view if we click on the jacket the jacket is coming if with the pants the pants coming hoodie there is no product available we are sorry but there are no products matching on hoodie criteria at that moment we are restocking shortly so the good masses to just hand it over to the customer ratio so if you click in t-shirt we are having the t-shirt and at the bottom we are having some of the good prompt and then we have our quick links categories the newsletter and others if you click in that quick links if you just see the about we have our toolus about section in the contact us we have the contact from so customer can contact with us terms and condition here they can find all the terms and conditions data and then we have the privacy policy here and after that we will also have having that faq section as you see this everything is super sleek and pretty good to go now let's go back to the home and this time what if if we click in that feature if we click in feature and you see we have only one product as feature if we click on new accessories t-shirt man we can now view the products as per the criteria we can filter through it and we can have it as the way we want now if i click any of the product particularly this one as you see the loading instances if we just go back and try again so this loading the global loading is happening so whenever it's like pending the product data it will showcase the global loader now we have our image section in the left in the right we have the product details if we click at the right at the bottom layer you can see we have some a dummy product ratio the image if you click how simply smoothly the image is changing you see that is super cool right now in the right side we have that woman's uh, basic short sleeve crew uh, neck t-shirt so all the title is right here and then we have our price which is the one is the previous one is the current and then it's stock the details about it and then we have our add to card button we have add to fabric button then also here as you see the characteristic of the product the brand collection type stock variant all the data you can collapse it if you don't want to see it as you see it's pretty simple then we can compare color excursion delivery return share and free shipping and flexible payment we can add to card and as you see we can now see the price ratio how it's adding and this price is actually coming calculating from this price ratio of the current price you can also remove it and last one it will delete the entire product let's go back to the home page and now from here we can do the simple thing to add more products in our cart and let's try to go in the cart to view checkout or either way you can also do it from here as you see that state is carrying right i have that product so even in the search is showcasing and right now if i just try something which is not mentioned in the search the search and explore your products from toulouse and if it's not matched it will not return the product and like if i just make that pant i should be able to have the pants i can add the products from here and also i can increase the quantity from right here so let's close it and by the way this entire website is responsive if i just go back here and go in the mobile view in the right side as you see we're having that in the right side if you click we have home feature new categories accessories if you click on t-shirt you see how dynamically is rendering you can also go back to the home and showcase the data here and even you click in the outside of that ratio you see it just removing so that sidebar is looking and working perfectly the way we are looking it too and in the menu screen you see that's super sleek and simple now if you go back in the card product we are led them to view in the card the come in the card page but you see the login to view your card items and check out don't miss out on your favorite products now either we can sign in or we can just create a new account so i will just go with the sign in i'm going to just use the google and let's try to sign in with an account and see how the data it will appear so let's click on continue 
And now, as you may remember, you see, that is the Toulouse.react.com. So, reactbd.com. So, I'm going to pass that. I'm going to drop that link in the description because I need to collect some data from you. I'm going to go then just, just uh, explain it later. So, let's just go through it. Now, if I go back to the card and here, from here, I can just receive the entire card if I want. If I just remove, as you see, it's coming. Your card is feeling lonely. It means the empty card is there. We can discover more product. We can just go and add some product. Let's go back to the card. And here, we have around $200. So, 220.75 the previous. Now, 20 is 0.75 is the discount. And we can now go proceed to checkout. We can go with this stripe. We can go with the PayPal. Now, here, there is one tab which is showcasing our the method by which we are having to get the order if we click on that we can view the details of the order right so that's entire thing even we can download the invoice from here right now you see the stripe invoice is payment just if you click on download it will prepare and download the invoice then you can view it the way you want if you see i'm just gonna open that i'm having this one right here Okay, the entire image is coming from, you see the logo, how we're generating that logo. So it's very cool in that way, right? Now, let's just go and check to create something to go back with the payment section. So right now, instead of running this one right here, I'm going to go in my local host because one thing it will just be pending here is that because the link in the description, you're going to try it. After the payment, I just stop the webhook here because that's uh, Stripe is crying for that because if all the people are trying, so the webhook functionality, it will not be there, but you can have the successful payment. Just the order, it will not showcase because the webhook is not working. I'm going to stop it for right now, but later on, we're going to make that happen to come in flexible things. So let's come here. We will try our local host just to go and catch the same thing. We'll log in with the same account and try the same thing to be handed over here because this one is just right here to make that webhook client here. So now through it, we can uh, listen that our only stripe a thing. So if we just go and add something, you're going to see the fundamental reasoning what actually we are going to achieve. As you see, I have only two orders previously done. Right now, again, $200 order. If I click on proceed to checkout, and right now, as you see, it's coming back here to create that in our local host. So what I'm going to do is to just create a dummy payment here for 242 and a proper CVC, then pass the card holder name and then hit pay. And after having the payment, it will redirect me to my uh, that uh, car success screen. And on the success screen, it will do several things here because all the listen up I'm going to watching from here. As you see, it will also create the invoice and payment in then. So everything going to be created right there. As you see, my card page is emptied and also I can see there is one more order is added. And here, order confirmed. Thank you for your purchase. I am seeing my order number right here. And also I can view the recent orders. All are paid. And let's go and see the orders. And here, as you see, 200 orders is just now paid. And I can see here, I can download the invoice. I can get the receipt if I want. You can also download receipts. So it's just up to you how you are preferring to view the data. You know, it's, it's super simple. Now, there is another setup is that beside on this portion, we can also go and make that one like we can use the token here if we want. So how we, uh, not the token, but the coupon. So let's go in our home. We will just go to create another checkout just to showcase you those things. So here, as you see 215, I'm going to just grab more order. So it will be uh, something bigger. It's 782. And here, I'm going to use a coupon here. Okay. So if I click on that, proceed to checkout. So after that, here, see the add promotion code. I'm going to add promotion code as new here. And I'm going to apply, which is going to have around 20% uh, discount here. You see, 20% off. So 6 to 5. So now as you see, my actual payment is 782, but I have the discount like from the promotion, then I have 6 to 5. So let's just make that one and let's see what it going to happen after just passing the orders, how it will reflect in my order data, right? So the actual amount is 6 to 5 point. Six zero. So let's try this time again. I think this also going to be happen to work perfectly without any error. So now if we just go to create the processing setup and okay, the payment is done. Everything are good to go. So if we just go and track that, you see 625.60, if we click on that, now here 
you see we have the discount of 156 we have the subtotal together then we have our total value you can just go through it you can like if we want to make the subtotal at the top and then the discount then the total also we can do it no worries about it but we know what is happening but i think this one should not be the discount this one should be the coupon you know just is all our processing so you can go through to get understand how we are building this one now why i'm making this video just to get the recommendation because very soon this project it will be in the channel and the same one where i'm just going to upload in the playlist so toulouse e-commerce website on that playlist everything going to be from there and you're going to build up from this scratch that would be bare minimum things i'm going to keep that everything we are going to build up from this scratch and i'm going to get you to provide you a better full stack e-commerce website experience now why i'm sending you this video please in the comment explain what you want more features right whatever features you are looking forward because this also having an admin portion this also having the authentication portion portion this so everything is there right so now whatever because from the user perspective whatever you are needing more let me know in the comments and i'm gonna inject that and then because you're gonna have a week time within a week not a week four or five days within those four or five days let me know in the comments whatever more things you are looking forward for having that within this application and i'm going to inject and start to build this entire things from this scratch again from this scratch that will be something new in this channel which we did never <laughs> before so let me know in the comments so this is just and the link the, this link it will be in the description for sure because why i'm not providing you this because uh just to be entirely uh, because this wave hook it will not be applicable for you i'm just not providing that wave hook so the after payment you will not be coming here right so this one it will like the order page it will not be for you so that's the one recommendation which you'll not get others one you feel free to recommend and here whatever you saw in the video let me know from this notion how the chains you want how the more data you are looking for right so that's what i can do for bare minimum now for this entire web setup entire design this is a very slick design so recommend whatever extra you want more how you want to showcase and beside with that responsiveness how the responsiveness you want to align or you forecast even if you want like the theming property or other this entire things you just tell me and i'm gonna keep that for you okay so let me know in the comments below and it will be right there when we are going to start building this amazing e-commerce website from the scratch so finish it up we're going to see you in that project build.